On a high school field trip, Peter Parker is bitten by a radioactive spider. Going through a change in genetics, he develops spider-like speed, strength, and abilities. With great power and great responsibility, he becomes the amazing Spider-Man. From a biological standpoint, could radiation really pass genetic traits from one organism to another? So if you're bitten by a radioactive spider, that would mean to me that some of the material that was in the spider causing it to be radioactive is now being put into you. There are several things you would have to ask yourself. Obviously, the implication is the venom of the spider is also radioactive, or it wouldn't have had any effect. So not only the spider, but its venom. And uh, then what you'd want to look at is uh, what specific type of radioactivity, what's the element? Uh, it depends very much on the element as to, to where in the body that radioactivity would go once it got inside the body. Uh, again, the amount that would come out in a spider's venom is not going to be enough to cause any harmful effects. Just because radiation is coming off the spider doesn't mean it'll make you radioactive. But if it takes some of the material that's in it and puts it into you, now you can become radioactive. So how does that change the DNA? Randomly, it's, it's, it's up to chance, but ch again, chances of it being a very beneficial change is, is kind of long. So again, not conveying any superpowers, but uh, the potential to have a slightly increased uh, risk of cancer depending on the, the, the element. Is it possible for human DNA to be mixed with the DNA of a spider? So spiders have a way to uh, shoot webs out, okay? So they have specialized cells that make the web material and, and shoot out the web. That means the DNA has to be told what that code is, right? If you can cleave in a part that says build this cell to be a cell that manufactures web material and build this cell to be the cell that is differentiated to shoot it out, if you can cleave that into a cell that you already have, there's a chance that cell could, could go ahead and do that. It's not impossible. But to do that, you'd have to actually get the DNA code from the spider, mix it with the DNA code in your human DNA without destroying the whole rest of its, its function. It's not that easy. Possible, but not that easy.